Okay, let's try this. Hello everyone, Samantha here. I pray all is well with you. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my experience with using the Prosper Bible Study Method by Araba Joy. So I um, got um, a, compi a compilation of hers some time ago and um, it includes um, a variety of resources. Um, I'm not going to go into all what's in the compilation because if you um, go to her website using a link that I provide, I provide in the description section of this video or another link that you find online, you can see um, um, the various resources she has. And what's actually in this kit, which she's actually featuring on Instagram now. Um, and it's down, it's $17. That's how much I have purchased it for. And um, so this is Bible study method that she created called the Prosper um, Bible study method. And so I did it. I started it some time ago, but what ended up happening is that, um, let me just show you this. This was the initial page um, I downloaded from the compilation to do the study. It's one page and it has um, all the points for prosper. P for pray, R for read, O for observations, S for study, P for ponder, E for engage, and R for repet repetitive action. So it's all on one page. But I noticed in the kit that um, oh, before I say that, and so I had created, I had downloaded um, several, well, I downloaded one copy and then I just printed multiples and I made it into a little notebook, which I am going to start using this. But before I started using this, I sort of wanted to use the large pages because um, she has each one of those on a template by itself instead of all um, seven steps on one page. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, so this is what I use to like study, to study the method, to learn about the method. I actually printed out each page so I can get an understanding of which, um, what each step um, is for. So um, the P for pray, there's a sheet for pray. And as you can see, matter of fact, I think I want to use this in conjunction to show you what I'm. Mean. As you can see, this is a large page, and the pray box here is small. Over here is quite large. Then there's read, right? And then there's a section for read, what you're putting here for reading. What I noticed that um, for read, you will just put the passage here, but there was no place to write it out and I wanted to write it out and I'm going to show you exactly what I did so I said well I'm going to I want to use the full page instead of you know this slot right here then observe right and then she she goes in oh let me close the door because my husband's talking to someone hold on See, I'm recording in a different place in our home. Okay, so the observe, as you can see, she wrote out what you know what to do for the observe part. Um, one thing she mentioned here that I think was so vital, she said, observation is simply making note of what the text clearly says, not what it means, not what you think of it, not how you interpret it just what it says I like that and then she says this is very important because too many of us think we know what the Bible says but in reality we are actually given our opinion we need to first know what the Bible says before we can try to understand what it means so I really like that she put that there now let me also say too with each step she gives a video um, a training video on it so you can actually go there and um, you know um, learn with her so 
Now, notice the observation, the observe rather here, observations about the passage, and then there's this observe sheet. Now you can see why um, I wanted to use the larger sheets because it, it goes more in depth. So I was like, once I understand these fully by going in depth, then I can now use this. However, I can see that there are times that I'm going to want to use the big the the pages um that have um more points to delve into regarding that step then there's study so she goes into um three different kinds of studies that you can do for the actual verse so i noticed that there's a study in the study right because in this part at at the s the study you can even go deeper and then there's this sheet, which I love, how to choose a study. And then she gives these pointers where you check off regarding your passage. And it lets you know what kind of study is related to that type of passage. Which, what would be a better suit? A better, um, how can I say, what type of study is more suitable for that passage? So I think that was really good. I think that's really good. Not was, but is, because the document is still existing, right? So, then there's P for ponder. And then she goes on to discussing how to meditate on God's word. And, um, like, looking at these um, application-oriented questions. Emphasizing, doing verb searches. So, I really like that. Then the E, and then the five ways to meditate on scripture. She has that there. So, you know, over here, as you can see, for ponder. Oh, look at a study. I forgot to show you that. Look how small study is here. So, I mean, you can do something in this box um, once you choose a study, but it's, it's small. So, this is like for a word or a concept, you know. Um, and, you know, you... Do with it as you, as you wish, according to how you study, um, or you write it. Me, I should say, as you wish. But, um, I, I'll show you what I ended up doing because this definitely was not enough space for a study. If I was doing like a scripture writing, then that's different. But for studying, it, it was not enough space for what I chose to do, um, the the study on. Then there's ponder. Look, you can see right here what God has shown me about this passage. But look over here, you see it's more detail. Um, we're giving you ways to meditate on scripture. And then there's engage, right? Um, and this goes into visualization. She talks about that. Um, rather, she writes about that here. And um, in the video, I, you know, she talked about it. I haven't gone to these video trainings, but um, I'm thinking about going to them. Um, when I have some more time, but basically it's very well explained in her writing. So, you know, I was able to get the gist of it from just reading. Um, and then engage right here. Here are some questions. How I envision, envision this passage impact in my life. So you can see there's a lot of, um, how can I say, a lot of pointers given to help you uh, with application, even in terms of pondering and engage. And then even going further into, you know, application of the word in our lives. She has our repetitive action and all these, these questions like to help identify your seed. So it's, she labeled it, um, identified my seed for sowing a repetitive action something that you keep doing that you can keep doing in life um that you learn from the study and here are some questions to guide us in that process so i really like that there's um she got some bookmarks that go with it which i'll show you what i did and that's i show already this the bible color and coding system which she has online um, and then she even has some information here. What is the Bible marking system? What materials do I need? How to use color coding to enhance your Bible study time. So this is one of the studies that I got out of the compilation. compilation. These are one, this is one part that I got out of the compilation. It did not come like this. 
um, I printed um, out the Prosper method and I, um, you know, bound it. Now, to show you what I did, as you're going to see, I have the, like, on the side here, I have the Happy Planner punches. I had these on there, which I ended up taking off, and I wish I never punched it because this was my very the first copy as you see i have it labeled here and um it's not enough um pages to hold on to these very well i had it i even had the plastic which i'm going to use for something else but for this nah i just didn't want to use another one of these which I should have, but my thinking was, oh, I'm going to want to probably put more studies with it, which I may end up doing that. I may end up just putting this to the side, and um, as I use more of the full pages, which I'm about to show you, um, just put it together. I just don't, I don't know yet how I'm going to, like, store this and continue with it, but um, I just know having a little bit of pages with these discs is is it's, it's not working <laughs> okay the things kept coming off um then i will misplace a couple and then i have to look for it so what i did for this booklet i had um a basic copy in here so i could see what it looked like and then i put this is the how-to section so if i ever went back in i would have i printed out in black and white to say the color ink but um the same thing that i just went through with you in that one where it was colored this is what I did for this. Um, this is the same thing. I just wanted it in there. So now, what I did, um, as you can see, is um, I printed it out on color, and I put this tab here that says first copy, because it's the first one that I ever did. Um, even though I had started doing it on one of these, which I will show you, I quickly stopped. I quickly stopped. I was like, no, that's not going to be enough. I need to try this thing out on the large pages. So what I decided to do, unlike the passage, unlike um, in the book, you pray the first time you're about to study. Um, you write your prayer, and um, she gave a couple of scriptures that she uses um, to pray when she's about to delve into studying and reading the Word of God. So what I did was I prayed each time for each day because this is something that she says day one, day two. Yeah, I didn't explain that. I didn't explain that. This is not, um, you can do it in one day if you want, but she says day one, day two, you know, the next day, the next day like that. So, um, and, um, P R O is usually the first day, then the S the second, the P the third, the E the fourth, and then the R, the fifth. So it was usually five days. Um, what I did each, instead of writing a prayer only the first time, each day when I went back, I wrote out a prayer that was on my heart um, that day. So I started on June 28th. Um, now for read, <clears throat> as you can see in this section, it was very small. But I wanted to write out the scripture, not just read it. As you can see, I, I started doing that there. But then I was like, let me just go and um, use this large page. And um, like I said, the first, the P, the R, the O was on the first day. So you would read the scripture. What I did was the first day I wrote out the scripture. She suggests reading the scripture every day um, in a different translation. So that's what I did. Every day when I went to do the study, to go back to the study, I read and I wrote it out. I read it in a different translation. I read it in the King James and wrote it out in the King James. I read it in a new international version and wrote it out in that version, English Standard Version, New English Translation Bible, and the Young's Literal Translation. Okay, I usually don't look at the NET and the Young's Literal Translation, but I was interested, I was, it was interesting to see um, the difference. Um, the scripture I used was Micah 6 8. And what I did was I printed out um, the di different um, versions, um, different translations, I should say. Not so much translation, but different versions, right? Some people say translation, some people say um, versions. Um, 
So I printed that out and I'm, I'm going to keep it in here. Um, and I did read other ones because I was like, oh, wow. Okay. So, you know, um, because, you know, there's so many different synonyms for words. So, you know, when people write it, they use different synonyms. They're saying the same thing, but different synonyms. And depending upon the reader, it may help them to understand the verse um, or the passage better. Then observe, as you see, I wrote, it's, it's fuller. It's fuller than just this. Look at all those pointers, okay? I'm not going to go through all the pointers because I really don't know if that is, um, how can I say, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to do anything where I'm just giving out all her pointers and then, you know, messing up messing up with someone purchasing her um her you know her work i, I just don't feel comfortable I, I feel peace sharing some things but not going into depth on boom 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 so how to choose a study i explained that before when i was showing it to you in the other in the um like the manual so to speak and this is a free resource that i'm going to leave down and i'll leave a link to in the description section of the video because i decided to do like a, a verse map um of the of the verbs and um i have another verse mapping template but i want to use something different so i went on pinterest and i found this one um matter of fact no i didn't find this on pinterest i went on pinterest and i wasn't liking what i saw so i just googled and i found this one and it's by team mom 365.com and um, I decided after I did the study, after I did the checklist, um, I was like, okay, the best study type for Micah 6 8 is let me do a, a verse map, right? And so um, it was like a verse analysis. It also helped me to go into like um, a word study as well, as far and also um, character trait. So the template, what I like about this template, this is not Arable Joys again. Let me just be clear about that. Um, but once you choose what study type you want, she does have study type templates. But um, then some, it's a couple that's included in the compilation, but I didn't want those. So I just went and got some for free. Um, but what I like about this one, it just really lays out the steps. For the, in this for verse mapping now some people do it differently so this is not the only way to do a verse mapping but this is a way all right and i'm just going to read this in a box right here it says bible verse mapping is a wonderful way to gain a deeper understanding of the word of god before you begin you should know off the bat that verse mapping is an individual exercise there is no right or wrong answer let the holy spirit guide you right so in your process you know people do the process differently all right and then she got some information here and then a prayer here and then the steps and then here's a template that you can use to actually do the verse mapping which is what i did here and then so once i finished that then i went on to ponder um and five ways to meditate on scripture and then i wrote out some information based on the pointers um, for five ways to meditate on scripture. And then, um, there's engage how I envision this pa this passage ex impacting my life. Then I love the questions. And then, so I was able to, um, write out, um, uh, how I envision this passage impacting my life whole time, being very prayerful. Then last but not least, repetitive action, identify my seed for sowing, um, when it's all said and done, like, what is the thing you're going to live out based on what you've studied? Because we don't study in isolation to live in. Um, studying is for living. Studying for living. And then as the Lord leads us to share. Right? And so that is, I would say, my experience with the Prosper Study Method. Um, Bible Study Method is an excellent one. Um, I plan to do it again this week. Um, coming up, I'm going to be prayerful about a passage of study. Just um, 
It's I wouldn't use this for the uh, uh, um a book of the Bible, an entire book. I probably I could see me using it for a chapter, um, or a particular portion of scripture within a chapter, um, but because if you for doing a study on a whole book of the Bible, I think you know um, you may need something with a that uh, a, a study method that's a bit broader than this one. This one I do see is for a passage, even with a book. Just I think. Uh, actually a chapter you're probably stretching it um, because the way that this is designed I think it's more geared towards a few verses um, together if not you know a couple but just it's pushing it with a chapter and I definitely wouldn't use this for an entire book something like I said needs to be much broader of a, uh, a Bible study method That's but that's my opinion it could just be um, how I'm viewing it so but anyway, again, my experience was an excellent one. I do recommend it. I believe that even um, a, 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 a someone that is a beginner in Bible study um, could use this. Um, someone even that's more advanced in Bible study could use it. Um, I do believe that it really lends itself to application. Um, there's a lot of Bible study methods. It's more theological there's a lot of Bible study methods out there, um, and some of them, it has to do a lot with, um, you know, like theology and, um, how can I say, the, like, like, um, from a theological perspective, but it, it just stops there. It has to transfer over into living than you just, you just studying just to say you study, um, or, you know, it just becomes a whole intellectual debate thing and that's not why we study the word of God or why we read the word of God is to live the word of God because the word says be not only hearers of the word but doers also so we can even connect that to reading we're not just reading the word and then we walk away from it like we never read anything it's going to provoke us to change it's going to provoke us to draw closer to God to live and so um I one of the that's one of the main things that I got from this study is that it's so the way that it's structured it really does lend itself to life application and changing and really looking in your heart and really like growing in the Lord so yeah so um that's my experience some people will call it a review um that's my experience and um yeah, so I'll leave the link to um the compilation um in her uh um the comp the I'll leave the link in the description section of this video to her compilation um to her works and then um I'm gonna leave the link to that free Bible verse mapping and also I wanna leave the link to this if I can still find it the 30 day Bible reading journal this is free. This is a free resource. Um, it's it's for the like the soap method, um, scripture writing, what stood out, which is an observation, application, and prayer, right? And it actually comes like this. With, it has the thirty day Bible reading journal, and then it has I think it's like thirty of these pages. I just printed it out, and um, but I made sure I did double sided because I wasn't gonna be printing out thirty pages. And um, I use this in the month of June. I use this to do um, a scripture writing challenge on repentance and renewal. I know I usually share, share my scripture writing challenge, but um, I really don't see what is the sense of um, really going in depth with. Well, I, I, I just explained that what I did, right? But I don't know. I just, I guess, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to say that. Let me just move on. So, anyway. Um, I was, what I was about to say wasn't even needful. I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Um, yeah, with that being said, God bless you and remember Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.